Hey guys, welcome to today's video and we are still working in this main bathroom makeover and I'm really excited because I think today's video is definitely going to be a real turning point in this project. We have a lot to do that I think are going to visually make a really big difference in this bathroom. If you've seen my other videos, you know that we've done endless drywall repair, replaced the bathtub and the bathtub surround, the shower, all of that. And another thing that is going to be changed is this vanity. Now I've had the new vanity for a while, but I cannot install it until the old one is out and also until the new floors are in. And I don't wanna put the new floors in until the walls are painted because I just don't wanna to have to worry about covering them, it'll be easier. So we need to get this vanity out and then I need to go in and prime all of the fresh drywall. Anything that I have um, patched in, that needs to be primed before we paint. Okay, let's talk paint color. So I narrowed it down to these two colors, which are Sherwin-Williams Pure White and Snowbound. And I like both of them, but I was really looking for a very soft white, not stark, which this has a really great undertone, the Pure White does. It's not a stark white, but I like how Snowbound, it almost has a tiny bit of a taupe undertone, which I normally don't go for, but I realized that the tile has a little bit of a taupe undertone. So fingers crossed, I'm a little nervous about it. I did only get one gallon of the paint. I'm using a Sherwin-Williams Duration Line because I wanted a matte finish, not a flat. I wanted the tiniest bit of sheen, but not all the way up to eggshell and it's supposed to be really good for bathrooms like mold and mildew moisture resistant and still be able to wipe it so that's the plan now fingers crossed we like this color if we do i'll go back and get another gallon
Okay, the first coat is done. It's looking awfully white, but I'm trying to tell myself that paint darkens as it dries. So we'll see in about four hours. Okay, it's about four, five hours later. Everything looks like it's dry. You can tell because it's definitely not shiny because I went with the matte paint. And I'm, I think I like the color. It's drying, it dried warmer. You can tell like the difference between the paint and the stark white of the tub. It dried warmer, so that was good. And, but it still needs like a second coat. You can see here, like that needs a second coat. So let's get started on the second one. Okay, the paint is all dry in here, and it does have a little bit of a pink undertone, but so do the tiles, so I think it works well together in here. It is looking kind of bare right now, but I have to remember I still have to add the flooring, the vanity, the mirror, all of the accents, so I think the white provides like a nice clean background. I ended up using two gallons and that was the perfect amount because I was able to get two full coats on everything plus some leftover for touch-ups down the road. And I was able to figure out how much paint that I needed thanks to today's sponsor, Millicy. So they sent over their D9 Pro Laser Measure. It comes in this nice carrying case. And this is such a handy tool, whether you're a professional or a beginner DIYer. Everything is controlled on this touch screen right here. It is also rechargeable. You can set it for whatever project that you're working on. And what I found the most useful for this project was the wall area setting. So I just placed the laser at the bottom of the wall and it shoots a laser up to the top and takes that measurement. And then also it takes a measurement of the width, giving you the total surface area. It also comes with a magnetic attachment so you don't have to hold it. And this spotlight here, LED light on the side. This would also be super helpful when you're hanging gallery walls or something like that because it has a bilateral aligning laser. You can make sure here with your level that you're at 90 degrees and then mark at each point where you want to hang whatever you're trying to hang. The D9 Pro Laser has a range of up to 330 feet with 1 16th of an inch precision. It also has an app so you can streamline all of your measurements. It has endless uses and I'm still playing around with it to discover all the things that it can help me with throughout my home renovation project. So if you guys wanna go check out this laser measure, make sure that you click the link down in the description. Now that everything's painted, we are heading into a new step that I'm really excited about and that is flooring. So this flooring is going to come up. It's been a really good protection for the subfloor while I've gotten all kind of stuff on it from thin set to plumbing stuff. So that's gonna come up, but I am gonna leave this layer of quarter inch plywood underneath, but I need to fill in a few spots like these were where the cabinets were, where the bathtub was, and some places over here like under the toilet. So let's go ahead and get this out. Easiest demo ever.
This is the flooring I'm using. It's a luxury vinyl tile. So I wanted something that looks like slate without having to actually lay tile in this bathroom. And this is waterproof, so it's really good for a bathroom. And also it is not as cold as tile. And it has this underlayment, this padding already on the back, but I am gonna add an additional underlayment just to be safe for moisture or anything, especially because I'm on the second floor here, but it just clicks and locks together like vinyl wood flooring that you've probably seen all over. And I think it's really gonna add the darker element that this bathroom is needing after the white paint. Okay, the flooring is all in. I also moved in the vanity. I love the wood in here with this dark floor, the lighter walls. I think the vanity just warms everything up, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the flooring was really easy to put together. And I wanted to mention too, I did silicone all along here just so the Flooring is waterproof, the joints, but on the edges here, I mean, obviously water can get behind that and I didn't want that to happen. So I siliconed there and I wanted a seamless look and I think it looks pretty good. I also got the toilet reinstalled here and I do wanna add another thing to the toilet that I think is just a small detail that's gonna help elevate the space. So we've got all this brass going on in here and then we have this chrome handle for the toilet. Now, it's not a big deal, but I think it's a really cool detail that'll really elevate the design. So I grabbed this brass um, toilet knob lever from Amazon, I'll link it down below. We're gonna switch this one out for this one. So back to the vanity, I got this from Wayfair. It's solid wood and it has this marble top and it comes with a little backsplash piece. I ordered a side splash piece here, but it's not in yet. So I really like the way that this is looking in this room. Like I said, I think it warms everything up and it is much more storage than we had before. Even though it's technically smaller right here, like it's not as long, 
it's way more storage. So I still have ideas for this space right here, but that's gonna be in a later video. Like I said, so much more storage. All of these drawers are soft clothes and the cabinets too, so I'm really excited to fill it up with all of our stuff. I ordered two different faucets, and I think, while I like both of them, this one works better in the space because like this one right here is too far back. Like if you're washing your hands, I feel like it'll get water all back there. Also, this one matches the color of the other fixtures in the bathroom better. I use this in my kids' bathroom makeover so that I know that I like it. I wanted to go with a different one, but I don't think it matters. It's not a big deal. I like the way it looks. It matches. It was a good price. I will link both of these down below in the description. But this is where we're going to stop for today's video. Let me know down in the comments what do you think. What do you think of the wall color, the floors, and the new vanity? And I will be back next week and we will have another bathroom video with a lot more updates. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!